Hinatato Katoa, good evening. Wearing a mask to the supermarket could soon be a thing of the past. The government is consulting on dropping mask mandates and a shift to the green traffic light could be announced in just over a week. The government's even considering ditching the traffic light system altogether. And here's why. Our COVID case numbers have dropped to their lowest level since February. Here's Amelia Wade. Masks shielding, selfie smiles. And they're now the standard for meeting strangers. But with COVID cases subsiding, mask mandates are up for review. Now's the time for us to, to look at whether or not all of those settings are fit for purpose. We include uh, mask use in that analysis. Bring it on. I would not be comfortable if they were removed. I'm a teacher. I'm probably getting ready to move on. Especially with summer coming on, they're very hot. Behind the scenes, officials are hurriedly consulting. On Tuesday, the Ministry of Health emailed the disability sector for its feedback on significantly narrowing where masks are required to be worn. They were given 24 hours. 24 hours just sounds to me like the whole thing's been left to the last minute and they just needed to tick a box. So we, we need to be spending a little bit more time with this stuff rather than rushing it. The proposed change is to limit masks to just primary care. That's GPs. Urgent care like A&E clinics, hospitals, aged residential care, disability-related residential care, and they were also asked whether their masks should stay on in pharmacies. We're very aware of the concerns within our disability community. We have been throughout COVID management. And managing COVID is getting a little easier, with cases back to where they were in February. This is a very good time to review the settings. But going green with some mask mandates would make a mess of the traffic light framework. As it stands at green, there are no requirements at all. We've got a number of problems, and one is that the traffic light system now appears to be out of date. Nationals tired of the traffic lights too. The logic just doesn't stack up. They should get rid of it. Just have some simple rules around isolation and around masks and let's get on with it. We are in the process of reviewing our settings uh, and we'll be looking to update those as soon as we receive that final public health advice uh, in the coming weeks. Meaning we could soon go to green or even turn off the traffic lights altogether. Well, Kia ora, Amelia. Exactly what is up for review? Well... Everything from mask mandates to the isolation requirements of five days to whether we go to green to what green looks like to whether the traffic light settings, uh, traffic lights get ditched altogether. And I understand that ministers will be presented with options of what New Zealand could look like and the COVID settings could look like if those traffic light frameworks were to be scrapped. But that winter would end, that would get to the other side of this COVID wave, was extremely foreseeable. So there should be no need for health officials to rush consultation. The government poor planning on the government's part should not necessitate the emergency of those affected. Amelia Tanakwe.